In previous videos, we studied how to navigate to a new screen and pass data from one screen to another. In this video, we will learn how to pass a function from one screen to another and call that function from the new screen. Create a new Flutter project and add a center widget in the body. Create a function before the build function. It is a simple function that prints a message in the debug console. The function name is display message. It is a void function with no parameters. Print the text, hello flutter. Now we will study how to call this function from another page. Inside the center widget, create an elevated button for navigation to the new screen. Create an anonymous function in the onPressed event. Then add a text widget to display the label. Set the label to Go to Detail screen. Then run the app. Then we create a new file for the new screen. The file name is detailscreen.dart. Import material.dart in detailscreen.dart. Create a stateless widget named detailscreen. Return a scaffold inside the build function. Create an app bar with the title, Details screen. Then add a center widget in the body parameter. Add an elevated button inside the center. Set an anonymous function for the elevated buttons on pressed event. Then add a text widget for the label. The text is, call the main function. When this button is clicked, we will call the function from the previous page. We will call this function from the detail screen. For that, we need to create a function variable to pass the function through the constructor. The variable type is function, and we can give it any name. Pass that variable name inside the constructor. Call that variable name inside the onPressed event of the elevated button. Include the function brackets at the end. Then, open the main.dart file where we need to navigate. Use the navigator.push function that we already studied. Set the route using material page route. Then call the detail screen class. There, we need the function parameter. Pass the function name that we need to call from the next page. Our function name is display message.
Then run the app. Then press the button to go to the details screen. There is our button to call the main function. Press the button. The function is invoked, and the message is printed in the console. Next, we'll check how to call a function with a parameter. Update this function by adding a string parameter. The parameter variable is string new message. Then display that variable using the print function. Then we need to make changes in the details screen. Add a variable of type string in the function declaration. Pass a string in the function call. We will pass the string message from details screen. Then run the app. Go to the details screen. Click the call main function button. The passed message is displayed. Then we will try to display this message inside the screen. First, declare a string variable underscore message. Assign it the initial value, initial message. Inside the function, set the past value to this variable using set state, which we have already studied. Assign the value inside set state. Then, wrap the elevated button with a column. Add main axis alignment, main axis alignment dot center. Add a text widget before the button, including the underscore message variable. Then run the app. The text value should be initial message. We also need to add navigator.pop function to return to the main page after calling the function. Run the app again. Go to the details screen. Press the call main function button. Return to the first screen and display the message from the second screen. The function is on the first page. Let's study how to achieve the same functionality using the navigator.pushNamed function. First, remove the push function from the main.dart file. We will use the same function for calling from the second page, so make the necessary changes. In detail screen.dart, remove the constructor variable and comment out the function call. We will call it another way. Add a named route in the material app widget. The route name will be detail, and it will point to the detail screen class. We have already studied how to do this.
Then we call the navigator.pushNamed function, specifying the route name detail. We need to pass the parameter. Before passing the parameter, we need to create a class. Create a file named screenarguments.dart. Define the class like this, declare the function variable named mainfunk. The parameter type is a string. Then create a constructor that passes that variable. Open the main.dart file to pass the argument using the screen arguments class. Import the screen arguments.dart file. The parameter is our created function named underscore display message. Then open the detail screen.dart. First, we need to fetch the argument. Declare a variable of type our created class screen arguments. Import the screen arguments.dart file. The variable name is arcs. Retrieve the argument using the modal route, which we studied earlier. Then convert the data to the screen arguments type. Then call the function from the args variable. Run the app. It is working the same as before. Subscribe to True Coders for more tutorials like this. Thank you for watching.